Hi students, welcome back to your online computer class. Did you enjoy your vacation? I think everyone enjoyed the vacation, right? Okay. Today onwards, we can start a new chapter, computer memory. We all have memory, right? Human memory. We are what? What is the use of memory? We can store information. Uh, we can acquire information. We can recall information. For all these, we are using our memory. Like that, computer is also having memory. Okay. Computer is also having memory to store data and instructions. Uh, in the case of human being, we forget everything easily. And we can't recall the past. But in case of a computer, it can retain data stored in its memory for a long time. Computer has the capability to recall the data or rethink the data and recollect that old data from its stored memory. All computers having same amount of memory. If you buy a computer, it has a fixed amount of memory. If you want more memory, you want to add that types of memory card. Okay. This is about just an introduction for a computer memory. We can see how we are going to measure computer memory. Okay. Uh, in your phone, we are using 1 GB per day, right? 1 GB is equal to how many bit you know? No. You do, do you know? Okay. Today we can learn 1 GB or 1 gigabyte is equal to how many bytes? Okay. First of all, you all know computer is made up of electronic circuits. Right? Electronic circuit. Computer is made up of electronic circuit. Computer is an electronic device. So, every electronic device has only two states. On and off state. A fan is an electronic device. Fan has only two states. On and off. Like, like fan, computer is also an electronic device. It has two states. On and off. These two states are represented by 1 and 0. On represents 1. Off represents 0. And this is called binary digit. Combination of or a sequence of zeros and 1s is called what binary digits. Each binary digit is called bit. What? Each binary digit is called bit. Okay. The sequence of 8 bits, the group of 8 bits is called byte. What? Group of 8 bit is called byte. 1 byte represents a single character or a digit. It is a unit for measuring computer memory. What is, a, uh, what is used for measuring computer memory? Byte. Okay. 1 byte. In your textbook, you can see a chart, size chart, page number, take a page textbook, page number 18, you can see a size chart, 8 bit is equal to 1 byte, its abbreviation or the short form is B, byte is represented by B, 1024B or 1024 byte is equal to 1 kilobyte, that is KB, 1 kilobyte. So, 1024, 1024 byte is equal to 1 kilobyte. Okay. Then, 1024 kilobyte is equal to 1 megabyte. That is MB. Okay. Then, 1024 megabyte or MB is equal to 1 gigabyte. GB. We are using 1 GB per day right 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte or 1024 mb okay next is 1024 or 1024 gigabyte is equal to 1 terabyte tb next 1024 
TB or tegabyte is equal to 1 petabyte. Okay, PB. Then, 1024 is e, PB is equal to 1 exabyte EB. 1024 EB is equal to 1 zettabyte EZB. 1024 EZB is equal to 1 yota byte. Okay. So, dear children, you should learn this chart. This size chart. Okay. And read your textbook compulsory. Okay, dear students. So, see you in the next class. Bye. Thank you.